What is up everybody? Stud City here bringing you a full review of the Lego Home Alone set. This is from the Lego Ideas line and I thought we'd take a twirl at this beautiful set and actually review it because I thoroughly enjoyed building this bad boy and <laughs> check it out. The scale is absolutely massive. It has some extra components that are pretty cool like the treehouse <clears throat> from the movie with the string aka rope going through. Uh, they even have the uh, basement down here and you can see these tiles that are printed. They look really good. Uh, it's covering the ice that the, uh, they slip and fall on. So let's go ahead and jump straight into this video. But before we do, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and let's continue on. We are going to do best of both worlds, guys. We're going to go over stuff that I like and stuff that I don't like of this Lego set. But all in all, this is a great Lego piece and is going to be placed into my Lego city. Even with the white roof as snow, I'm going to somehow make this thing work. Well, let's go ahead and get straight on into it. Uh, one of the big things that I do love about this set is that it opens up quite easily and very accessible to see inside the entire set. And it actually expands all the way across so you have a good view of what is actually inside as well as the roof opening up and sitting there and you can see all the little details that plant the side of it. But we'll get in that, into that and all the details in just a moment. So the overall appearance of this set is a 10 out of 10 in my opinion. Actually, Lego gave me a wrong one by one by two corner piece right here. It, it really does stick out compared to this side. It's black. Uh, it's supposed to be brown like this side over here. It's very strange, but Lego gave me the wrong color and I had no idea why. So I'm gonna have to uh, call customer service and have them replace it. It is only one piece but it, it does bother me because it's supposed to be brown and I could not figure out why mine was in uh, the color of black. But I'm actually taking a second look around just to make sure that it, it's not just my error, but it looks like it is an error from Lego, but that, that's one thing that frustrated me with the set, but that has nothing to do with the actual mobility and play features of this set. But the minifigs were great. I believe there was, what, five minifigs in this set. Add some cool play features such as rotating this little section uh, right here on the outside that went into it. <clears throat> it had the uh, Bricks 23 as Michael Jordan's a fig over there. Uh, and then the uh, rotating like doll head to uh, represent when uh, Kevin builds a scene of moving parts so that the burglars don't get in his home. One of the things that I hate the most is pieces like this, guys. Um, they fall out all the time. There's a lot of standalone pieces in this set that just uh, is something I hate and I don't want to see Lego continue to do. I'm not a fan of that. Um, I, I we'll go into that in just a little bit, but to, for starters, uh, the dining room table on the first floor. These are the chair bills. There's four of them. As you can see, there are no way to put these on studs. They just free fall and sit. Kind of like how I have them sitting up there or right there. And on the studs, it does not stay down. So these things fly all over the place. And I think it's really dumb. I'm not a fan at all. The chairs look all right, but they're uneven. They don't really sit proper. Uh, it's just not a good way to make a chair, if, if you're asking me. But that's also because I hate the moving parts uh, part of this. <laughs> so uh, they do look good, but not for me. I'd rather have studs placed in where these chairs can sit down. But that's just one of the many features. Like this piece right here was actually off the top of the fireplace. It's like a metal frog or it's supposed to be a frog. You can kind of see it just hanging out right there. But that is a piece that is not studded as well. Something I do not like, but there's chairs like this one that you can see right here uh, as a couch chair. I think that one looks really awesome and is built on studs so it does not move. Uh, you have the gift present hanging out in the back. You can barely see it, but it's a printed piece of the Lego Home Alone set. Overall, the interior looks pretty nice. Uh, another play feature they added was the sled that Kevin would sit on and it falls down the staircase. So that was interesting. Uh, you could see some of the fragile pieces as I'm doing this review. But here's that Lego sled I was talking about. Uh, just hangs out loose in the set. Always gonna fall over if you're transporting this set. Uh, but the other side over here is the dining room table with the chairs that I dislike. Uh, the grandfather clock in the back, I think that's a really good touch and it looks exceptionally well. Now the back side of this, uh, we'll go ahead and show off that a little bit, but that little section has a roof piece as you just saw, uh, and then actually has two floors that are removable, but 
just like so. So the first floor consists of um, the furnace room. So that is pretty interesting. And I believe there was a play feature for some way for it to work, uh, but I actually don't remember how it even moved. Uh, but essentially the furnace actually opened up and closed or something like that. Uh, I thought it was pretty interesting, but not too shabby. And then the other floor right here uh, is the kitchen. So this kitchen is actually exceptionally well. Uh, and then has a drop down chute uh, that opens up and you will see the iron fall out. So that is actually a pretty cool little play feature. They incorporate it into the kitchen uh, on that drop chute. I've taken off that first layer for the you know aesthetics of this video, but essentially you just push this down and it opens up in the furnace room. So it is pretty cool. It offers a cool little play feature. The hot dogs in black there that make up the furnace are super sensitive, so I'd be careful touching them. I just knocked them over like four or five times as I'm filming this video. But this is a cool piece to be the basement. Uh, and is a good addition and I'm glad they added that into the set because that, that part is pretty iconic to say the least. So it's reassuring that LEGO has added this feature <laughs> into this awesome build. But on to a floor number two, uh, which is actually pretty cool how they have these snap-in folding doors for the facade of it. Uh, but this floor actually has this piece from the movie where he throws it down the paint down the stairs and it swings down into the first floor. Uh, it is kind of hard to take apart <laughs> uh, the first and second floor because of these moving <clears throat> parts. Uh, but it's still a very cool floor. It's not tiled for the most part, but there is tiling over here. Uh, as you can see, like in the kitchen, or I'm sorry, the the lavatory room, uh, you have some little cool displays and some paintings on the wall. The staircase going up with the red printed like carpet. Uh, and then you have Buzz's room on this side over here with his... <laughs> love letters sealed in this little compartment uh one of the play features that i absolutely do not like is the scene from the shelves that they fall down uh there's just loose pieces of lego hanging out on top and you pull the shelf in the back um with this little lever right here <clears throat> and the shelf falls down but those little pieces in my opinion are just going to get lost and it's something i'm not interested in right uh, they just are gonna get lost. <laughs> Loose Lego does not sit very well. It doesn't even matter if it's sitting on a shelf for its life or in my Lego city. Loose Lego pieces does not sit very well with me and that's something I wish uh, they didn't keep as they had this set. But this is the back of it now that we have the second floor. Uh, and this right room right over here uh, is just a tiny little bedroom. And on to the roof section of this home build. Let's give it a quick twirl, twirl, just so we can get a good glimpse of everything that's going on. Uh, I like the back window over here. You have the chimney, and for the most part, the roof's all white, but I do like how they did uh, these panels over here that fold open. I think that was a good touch. That way, the roof actually had an interior, in this case, which it does. Uh, now, from your angle, you can barely see the roof, but I'll go ahead and get this a lot closer just so you can see inside of it. But to start things off, uh, like I said, the roof just folds open, which is a good play feature. You have this like queen size bed over here, or like pull out bed that looks like it's out of a couch. I think that is a cool little feature. You can see it right over there. Uh, and then in the corner, it looks like a gumball machine. And then on the opposite side, you have your little desk and light lamp <clears throat> and then some spider webs hanging out in the corner. Last but not least, if you're hanging out in the treehouse, you have to have your pair of scissors. So we'll put that right over there. So it's another loose part that will fall out of this set. I'm just kidding guys, but too many loose pieces in my opinion uh, for this Lego set. But here is the tree house. It overall looks pretty good. You got the airplane chilling on top. Reminds me of the little Lego bookshop. Uh, but essentially you could put this far away from the build and you have a scene from the movie where a minifigure would hold on and it would somehow fly all the way down there it goes, Kevin, all the way down into the treehouse, and then he cuts the rope, and the bad guys go all the way down. <laughs> but it looks good. It's a nice little feature. I'm glad they added this little scene and attached it to the build. Uh, it's actually quite simple to just simply remove this uh, just like so. That way you can transport this instead of having to carry this like tree and put it up here so it's not breaking or something like that. But for now, we'll leave it back on there. Now, the other thing I'm bringing up as I'm touching it were these little roof panels. I think this was a really cool technique used by Lego. It offered a one uh, two by two square 
tile built in and then these two one by one by two triangles that are flat. Uh, and it kind of just hangs out and sits in just like that. But it actually gives it a really cool feature and technique to build these angled roofs. But that'll do it for me, guys. I hope you found today's review insightful, entertaining, and all that jazz. I had a fun time building this Lego set. We did it on live streams, and that was probably the most fun I had building a Lego set because it was enjoyed with you guys as well. But let me know what you guys think in the comments of this absolutely beautiful set. I think it looks great, and I can't wait to place it into my Lego city. If you guys are excited or have any recommendations on where I should place it, check out my video at the end of this where I have my Lego city and any suggestions you think I should make to it. Thank you so much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Stud City out.